uh, I've been, bro, I grew up here all my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I stay around the corner. I've been staying in this area for the longest. Wow. How do you like it? I'm trying to get away for real, man. Well, why is that? It ain't safe. It ain't safe and it ain't enough to do. Like, uh, we just won the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, everybody know the city kind of going up, but it's a little too slow and still the same problem. Uh, I was born on 83rd and 2. Northeast, Northwest, I don't even know where I live. Forest Ave. Well, yeah. I've been Jefferson right Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I grew up on that side of Truce, and now my shop is on this side of Truce. Wow, so this is your shop? Yeah. I'm Dontavious Young, uh, owner of Equal Minded Cafe and Event Center. I'm 26 years old, commercial property owner here at 4327 Truce Avenue. And are you from a historically real life community? Okay, what's, what's redlining? Oh, let me get you a mic. We deny like people of color like mortgages and like loans. Oh, oh y'all know something. Come on, something. Yeah. Come on. Oh, nah, okay. nah, yeah, read, yeah, read. yeah. I'm... Okay, y'all read and read. Okay. So basically there's places where um, they made it harder for black people to get housing. And you know, they kind of try to separate, you know, the black and white community, yeah. right? So kind of put a line and you can you can really see the difference. Like there's some places like you'll look at one side of the street, it's like it's real nice housing, you know, all that, and then it's like an underserved community on the other side. You know, what you're trying to address is something that right now most federal agencies have been directed by the president and the current administration to address this issue. Okay? It's not the first time in history but it's the moment we're in right now. And I'm always concerned when people only focus on public policy because it was the invention of a private market backed by public policy. And it was the private real estate market advocates like JC Nichols who created that and then sought federal backing. So you mentioned that AC is really the model for what redlining became and we're here in casey right now and we understand that there is no federal definition for redline communities historically black communities anything like it well i you know i i gotta tell you i don't necessarily agree with that because okay. it was the homeowners loan corporation that invented redlining from a federal policy perspective in the 1930s. So those maps you're talking about, those are federal maps. Interesting. Current address will be right in here. I grew up in this area. One, two, one. Right there, that's true, it's right there. Here, somewhere, it's kind of hard to tell. This is a very old map, so um, you know, where I grew up really wasn't developed, but it would have been somewhere in this red lined or even yellow district. This is Gregory. Then we'd be like about somewhere in this line over here. I live in the D30, I live in this district. So it should be like right there. Yeah, I'm right here. You right there? Yeah. So that's your community right there. Have you ever read the description? I have. I've so tell me what you saw in the description. My first home that I owned was right about here. Okay, this is great. In this blue section. I it was illegal technically for me to own that home, but jokes on them. <laughs> <laughs> and why was it, wait, why was it illegal? Because I, I have uh, Jewish heritage and in the title um, for my home, it, I was prohibited from owning a home on that block. Mm -hmm. Most of our grandmothers moved here during the during this era. She was encroaching, Negro encroachment. This area is bad because Negroes are encroaching from the west. The Negroes are coming. The niggas is coming. The niggas are coming. <laughs> the niggas yep. are coming. Yep. And they said those areas we're going to move out of, we're going to defund. But once those maps were published, they were out on the street for all kinds of people to use. Okay. Now the practice of redlining as we know it is, is the biased 
lending of capital, public and private, to a person based on their individual racial identity or the identity, the majority racial identity of the neighborhood that they live in. You've already got the maps, you already have the definition, but it doesn't just stop in 1939. It continues, it has momentum once it's created, and that's the issue that you're trying to wrap your arms around. You have multiple layers that you're trying to deal with, um, but there is a federal definition of redlining because it was a federal policy. Okay. And those maps were backed by federal policy. Now to say, is it just those neighborhoods on the map that experience racial discrimination? Absolutely not. So the complexities of it is, this was the beginning. Okay. This was just the beginning.